Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Knitting Kitty. Today we are going to crochet this sweet owl couple. If you need a unique and special wedding gift, this is just for you. So let's see the list of the materials you will need. The head and the body are crocheted as one piece. Use white blue cover yarn for the bridegroom and white cover yarn for the bride. Start with a magic ring and crochet 6 single crochet into it. For the second round, crochet an increase in each and one of the previous six single crochet. For the third round, let's crochet single crochet in the first stitch, then in the next make an increase. Repeat one single crochet, then make an increase in the next stitch till the end of the row. For the next round, let's crochet single crochet in the first two stitches, then make an increase, two single crochet, then an increase in the next stitch. At the end of the round, you will have 24 stitches. For the round 5, let's crochet single crochet in the first three stitches. Then again make an increase, 3 single crochet, then in the following stitch make an increase. At the end of the round you will have 30 stitches. For the next round crochet, single crochet in the first 4 stitches. Then make an increase for a single crochet, then make an increase. At the end of the round, you will have 36 stitches. For round 7, let's crochet single crochet in the first five stitches then make an increase repeat till the end of the round until you have 42 stitches For the next round, we are going to crochet 6 single crochet, then we are going to make an increase, 6 single crochet, then we are going to make an increase, repeat till the end of the round until we have 48 stitches. Last round with increases, we are going to make single crochet in the first 7 stitches, then make an increase, 
seven single crochet then make an increase repeat till the end of the round until you have 54 stitches from round 10 to round 16 do not make more increases crochet single crochet in each stitch of the previous round Now let's start making decreases. For the round 17 crochet, 7 single crochet, then make, an, make a decrease. Repeat till the end of the round until you have 48 stitches. Then for the next round, crochet single crochet in each stitch of the previous round. For the round 19 crochet, single crochet in the first 6 stitches, then make a decrease, repeat till the end of the round until you have 42 stitches, then you have to crochet 3 rounds without decreases, single crochet in each stitch around. Continue decreasing for round 23, crochet 5 single crochet, then make a decrease. Repeat till the end of the round until we have 36 stitches. Then crochet 2 rounds without decreases, make single crochet in each stitch of the previous round. Last rounds with decreases. First for round 26, crochet 4 single crochet, then make a decrease. Repeat till the end of the round until we have 30 stitches in total. Then make 2 rounds without decreases. Crochet single crochet in each stitch of the previous round. Then stuff a little bit the body.
Before finishing the head and the body, you have to attach the safety eyes. First, cut two round felt eye patches with diameter of 2.8 cm. Then at the bottom of these eye patches make a small hole for the safety eyes to go through. The safety eye passes between round 21 and round 22 of the head. At last secure the eye patches to the head. And to finish our owl, stuff the head and the body really nice and firmly. Then flatten the body and working across the top through both layers, close the top. Now let's crochet the wings. Use dark blue color yarn and repeat the same steps as you did for the head and the body. Make a magic ring with 6 single crochet into it. Then for the second round make an increase in each one of these 6 stitches. For the round 3 crochet 1 single crochet then make an increase till the end of the round. For round 4 crochet to single crochet then make an increase repeat till the end of the round until you have 24 stitches for round 5 make 3 single crochet then make an increase repeat again till the end of the round until you have 30 stitches next round make single crochet in each stitch around and for the last round crochet slip stitch in the first stitch then crochet 5 double crochet in the next one again repeat slip stitch in the first stitch then make 5 double crochet in the next one repeat 6 times in total time to crochet the legs use dark yellow or orange color yarn start with a magic ring and crochet six single crochet into it For the second round, crochet an increase in each and one of the previous six single crochet. For the third round, let's crochet single crochet in the first stitch then in the next make an increase repeat one single crochet then make an increase in the next stitch till the end of the row For round 4 crochet 
single crochet in the first two stitches, then make an increase. Repeat till the end of the round until you have 24 stitches. Then for the next round do not increase, crochet single crochet in each stitch of the previous round. For round 6 crochet, single crochet in the first 6 stitches, then make 6 decrease one after another, then crochet another 6 single crochet, at the end of the round you will have 18 stitches. And for the last round crochet, single crochet in the first 4 stitches, then make a decrease. Repeat till the end of the round until you have 15 stitches. Finish with a slip stitch and stuff the legs nice and firmly. Now let's crochet the tail. Use dark blue color yarn. The tail consists of two parts that later are sewn together. Start with a magic ring and crochet 6 single crochet into it. For the second round crochet an increase in each and one of the previous 6 single crochet. For round 3 crochet, single crochet in the first 3 stitches, then make an increase. Repeat till the end of the round until you have 15 stitches. For the next round do not make more increases, crochet single crochet in each stitch of the previous round. For the last round make single crochet in the first 3 stitches then make a decrease, 3 single crochet then make a decrease, repeat till the end of the round. For this part finish with a slip stitch and leave a long tail, you will need later. Crochet one more piece, but this time do not cut the yarn tail. Now you have to join the two parts. In order to do that, make a slip stitch to join the two parts. Then crochet 24 stitches. This will be our sixth round.
Now with the yarn tail from part 1 and using a darning needle, close the small hole between the two parts. For round 7 crochet, 2 single crochet and then make a decrease, 2 single crochet and then a decrease, repeat till the end of the round until you have 18 stitches, then stuff a little bit the tail. For round 8, make single crochet in the first 4 stitches, then make a decrease. Repeat till the end of the round until you have 15 stitches. And for the last 9 round, crochet single crochet in each stitch of the previous round. Finish with a slip stitch and also stuff a little bit the tail. Now let's put all the parts together. First sew the wings. Use bubble pins to position them symmetrically on the body between row 8 and row 19. the legs. The legs go between row 5th and row 10th. And finally we have to sew the tail. Position it at the bottom part of the back between row 9, 9 and row 13. You have already attached the safety eyes, so don't forget to sew the white eye patches to the head using white thread and sewing needle. Then cut a small felt thread. 
triangle in orange for the beak and also if you want you can add a small bow below the beak. We are going to crochet a small head for our bridegroom. Use dark blue color yarn and make a magic ring with six single crochet into it. For the next row, make an increase in each one of the six single crochet from the previous round. And for the third round, crochet one single crochet and then make an increase. Single crochet, then make an increase. Repeat till the end of the round until you have 18 stitches. For round 4, do not make more increases, crochet single crochet in each stitch around, but only in the back loop of every stitch. Then for the next 2 rounds, 5 and 6, make a regular single crochet in each stitch of the previous round. So for the final round, make a slip stitch and chain 1, then make a double crochet in the first stitch, then in the next one crochet 2 double crochet, repeat 1 double crochet and then 2 double crochet in the next stitch, repeat till the end of the round. if you want you can add some stitches on the owl hat and add some hair to our bridegroom To crochet the bride, use white color yarn for the body and light blue for the wings and the tail. Use blue felt for the eye patches and the heart. Add a little piece of lace for the bride veil. Thanks for watching, I hope you liked my video and I hope you will come back very soon, bye bye!